The National Academy of Medicine NAM, formerly called the Institute of Medicine IOM, is an American nonprofit, non-governmental organization. The National Academy of Medicine is a part of the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine, along with the National Academy of Sciences NAS, National Academy of Engineering NAE, and the National Research Council NRC. The National Academy of Medicine provides national and international advice on issues relating to health, medicine, health policy, and biomedical science. It aims to provide unbiased, evidence-based, and authoritative information and advice concerning health and science policy to policy makers, professionals, leaders in every sector of society, and the public at large. Operating outside the framework of the U.S. federal government, it relies on a volunteer workforce of scientists and other experts, operating under a formal peer review system. As a national academy, new members of the organization are elected annually by current members, based on their distinguished and continuing achievements in a relevant field as well as for their willingness to participate actively. History The Institute was founded in 1970, under the Congressional Charter of the National Academy of Sciences as the Institute of Medicine. On April 28, 2015, NAS membership voted in favor of reconstituting the membership of the IOM as a new National Academy of Medicine and establishing a new division on health and medicine within the NRC that has the program activities of the IOM at its core. These changes took effect on July 1, 2015. Topic. Overview The National Academy's attempt to obtain authoritative, objective, and scientifically balanced answers to difficult questions of national importance. The work is conducted by committees of volunteer scientists—leading national and international experts—who serve without compensation. Committees are composed in an attempt to assure the requisite expertise and to avoid bias or conflict of interest. Every report produced by committee undergoes extensive review and evaluation by a group of external experts who are anonymous to the committee, and whose names are revealed only once the study is published. Victor Dezao is president and chairman of the council. His six-year term began on July 1, 2014. The Leonard D. Sheffer executive officer is J. Michael McGuinness. The majority of studies and other activities are requested and funded by the federal government. Private industry, foundations, and state and local governments also initiate studies, as does the Academy itself. Reports are made available online for free by the publishing arm of the United States National Academies, the National Academies Press, in multiple formats. The Academy is both an honorific membership organization and a policy research organization. Its members, elected on the basis of their professional achievement and commitment to service, serve without compensation in the conduct of studies and other activities on matters of significance to health. Election to active membership is both an honor and a commitment to serve in institute affairs. The bylaws specify that no more than 80 new members shall be elected annually, including 10 from outside the United States. The announcement of newly elected members occurs at the annual meeting in October. As of October 20, 2015, the number of regular members plus international and emeritus members is 2012. An unusual diversity of talent among NAM members is assured by the charter stipulation that at least one quarter be selected from outside the health professions, from such fields as the natural, social, and behavioral sciences, as well as law, administration, engineering, and the humanities. The New York Times called the NAM then called the IOM the United States' most esteemed and authoritative advisor on issues of health and medicine, and its reports can transform medical thinking around the world. <laughs> <laughs> Awards The Rhoda and Bernard Sarnet International Prize in Mental Health Sarnet Prize was established in 1992 and is awarded annually by the Academy to recognize individuals, groups, or organizations for outstanding achievement in improving mental health. It is accompanied by a medal and $20,000.
Topic notable members, past and present Harold Amos, microbiologist and professor Nancy Andrews, dean of Duke University School of Medicine Elizabeth Blackburn, biologist and winner of 2009 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for co-discovery of telomerase Emery N. Brown, statistician, neuroscientist, and anesthesiologist, director of the Harvard-MIT Health Sciences and Technology Program Robert Califf, cardiologist, FDA Deputy Commissioner Ben Carson, columnist and retired American neurosurgeon, former director of pediatric neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins Hospital Anthony Chirami, pioneering medical researcher Dennis S. Charney, dean of the Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York City Sarah Cleveland, veterinary epidemiologist Jewel Plummer Cobb, cell biologist and president of California State University, Fullerton, 1981-90 Francis Collins, geneticist, leader in the Human Genome Project and director of National Institutes of Health Jim Collins, since Synthetic biology pioneer and MacArthur genius Toby Cosgrove, cardiothoracic surgeon, inventor and CEO, Cleveland Clinic Mark Daly, statistician and human geneticist, professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School Kenneth L. Davis, author, medical researcher and CEO of Mount Sinai Medical Center Stanton A. Glantz, professor of medicine UCSF and prominent tobacco control researcher and activist Shimon Glick, Ben Gurion University, endocrinology, internal medicine, medical education and Medical Ethics Margaret Hamburg, Commissioner of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration Maurice Hilleman, Microbiologist David Ho, Pioneer in the Use of Protease Inhibitors in Treating HIV-Infected Patients Leroy Hood, Winner of the 2003 Lemelson MIT Prize Arthur Kellerman, Professor and Founding Chairman of the Department of Emergency Medicine at Emory University Herbert Kleber, Professor of Psychiatry, Yale University. Philip J. Landrigan, pediatrician and children's environmental health advocate Jeffrey Lieberman, Chair of Psychiatry, Columbia University, President, American Psychiatric Association Rudolf Leibel, M.D., Professor at Columbia University and discoverer of leptin and leptin receptor Alice H. Liechtenstein, Senior Scientist and Director of Cardiovascular Nutrition Laboratory at Human Nutrition Research Center on Aging, Professor at Tufts University Susan Lindquist, a molecular biologist and former director Director of the Whitehead Institute Howard Markle, George E. Wants Distinguished Professor of the History of Medicine and Director of the Center for the History of Medicine at the University of Michigan John Amazet, Professor of Epidemiology at UC Davis School of Veterinary Medicine and Executive Director of the One Health Institute McLean McCarty, youngest member of the research team responsible for the Avery McLeod McCarty Experiment Sherilyn S. McCoy, CEO of Avon Products and former Vice Chairman of Johnson & Johnson Ruslan Medjit Professor of Immunobiology at Yale University, co-discoverer of human toll-like receptors TLRs, David O. Meltzer, Professor of Medicine and Health Economist at University of Chicago Mario J. Molina, recipient of the 1995 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for Discovery of Impact of CFCs on Ozone Layer Herbert Needleman, pediatrician and psychiatrist Carl F. Nathan, Professor of Immunology and Microbial Pathogenesis at Weill Cornell Medicine Peter R. Orzag, 37 7th Director of the Office of Management and Budget under President Barack Obama Nicholas A. Pepes, Pioneer of Biomaterials and Drug Delivery Patricia Flatley Brennan, Professor of Nursing and Industrial Engineering at University of Wisconsin-Madison, and Theme Leader at the Wisconsin Institutes for Discovery. Frederick Redlich, Dean of the Yale School of Medicine from 1967 to 1972, James Rothman, winner of the 2002 Albert Lasker Award for Basic Medical Research Jeffrey Sachs, economist and director of the Earth Institute at Columbia University David A. Savitz, director of the Disease Prevention and Public Health Institute at the Mount Sinai Medical Center Shirley M. Tillman, former president of Princeton University Mary Wakefield, appointed Administrator of the Health Resources and Services Administration HRSA by President Barack Obama in February 2009 Douglas C. Wallace, geneticist and pioneer of human mitochondrial genetics Lawrence Weed, creator of the problem-oriented medical record Sheldon Weinbaum, biomedical engineer, biofluid mechanician and distinguished professor, emeritus, at the City College of New York Kern Wildenthal, former president of the University of Texas Southwestern Medical School William Julius Wilson, sociologist 
Elias Zerhoni, former Executive Vice Dean of Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and Director of the National Institutes of Health under George W. Bush. <laughs> 